Well, I'm headed to the bay. I'm headed to, uh, I guess, a half a, let's see, how far is it? It's probably a, a half a mile from the cave. That big beach, what we call the big beach on the golf course. You know, it's all been replenished a couple months ago. 90 feet wide, 10 foot deep, the whole beach. Cave gone. Well, I haven't been down here this year because of that reason, but I figured it's time. We, we might find some fresh drops here. I haven't talked to anybody who's worked it. I'm sure somebody has. I don't know. But I'm going to try it today. If I don't find out much, I'll, I may move back to where we were the other day on the bay. The land of Nod is that's what it's been recently. There's been a few really nice finds there, but nothing of any consequence on a day-to-day -day basis. Just random nice finds. One of my buddies found a platinum ring, another one found a 22 carat ring, another one found an 18 carat gold ring. It's been some some nice finds, but just not any a really good amount considering the number of people that are looking. The number, Mumbles man in, uh, went yesterday and he said he found it. Three hours he found 75 cents and hardly any targets. So I decided what the heck, I'll go fight the stingrays and hunt here on the bay for another day and see what it looks like. I got damn farmer's market tomorrow so I won't be able to go. Well I got Williams and Sonoma first and then I got the farmer's market in the afternoon. Thursday, one Thursday month is a busy Thursday for me. Look at that cool cloud up there. Can you see it? <laughs> One cloud. All right, let's see how it goes. We'll be there in about five minutes. Stand by. This used to be the beach that had the big water slide on it. Remember a year or so ago? I don't see many. I see a few depositors, but it's a little early. It's like 10 o'clock. I think the tide's low an hour, hour and a half maybe. Okay. Do it. Looks like it might be a little slough right through here. Some people over there playing around. All right, let's try it. It was a dime. I gave it to a kid. Second target is earring. 1238. I, I was positive it was a penny. But it's pure bling. Pretty enough for bling and it. Lots of ice in that bird. Strong 1244. One dime. That's two dimes for the day. Yeah, 1221. Looks like five cents. It's an odd number for it, but I'll take it. A new five cent. Well, there aren't many targets, as you already know, but what few targets there are are right here about screen deep. That seems to be the best of it. It's like a little drop-off right here. It comes up along here and drops off right along here. Look at that blinger. Can you imagine that hanging in your ear? <laughs> 1244. Another dime. It's going to be a dime kind of day, I guess. That beast bottle caps. It ain't no 
something. That's like my earring I got. Is it? Bling, we call it. Yeah, bling bling, that's right. You can have that if you want. Yeah, it kind of probably matches it. <laughs> I got a set. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I see a mermaid floating over here. I don't know what kind of mermaid it is though. I don't know if it's a far away mermaid or a close up mermaid. Got a mermaid. <laughs> see what 1214 is. Well, we didn't get it that time. We had to go back and get it. Come out of there. Because we got it that time. Five meter cent. The mermaid was on a treasure. <laughs> it's nice. It's good. It's cool. Mm -hmm. And a day like it today, the last couple days, is refreshing. Oh, yeah. My grandsons and I were here Sunday. It was pretty wavy then. Yeah. They're all sick today, so I'm on my own. But I got you. well by tomorrow. <laughs> you, you live around here or you a tourist? I live down the road. Okay. We're going to make one more pass in here, about a foot shallower. The screen just out of the water. If we don't find nothing, we're going someplace else. We moved in about six feet. Pass with the screen under the water. I got about 200 feet to go. So far, no tickets out this way. Well, of course, there ain't many tickets anywhere. Mermaid's up that way. We'll see how it goes. Place right there. That's where we're headed next. Just past those rocks. There's a jet ski rental place right there. Or it used to be. I think it still is. We're going to wander up that way and try it after we get out of this area here. Right there. I got, I don't know how many targets I got out of it. They're all in this pile of sand. There's multiple targets. We take it out here in the water and we'll see what's in there. We got at least three or four. Out of one hole. Pocket spill, I presume. Holy Toledo. Got two quarters and two dimes, 70 cents. <laughs> Great balls of fire. What about a Klondike? We're making our way over to the jet skis. This is a little goon we have to go through. You can't see them, but the jet skis, I can see them. I doubt you can see them. Stand by. Now that's something you'll never see if you're in your beach. Not at noon, anyway. Virginia Beach starts about 1 o'clock in the morning and runs to about 6 or 7. Then you never see them again. Norfolk is pulling sand, a sand rake. Sand rake during the day, midday. I can't believe that. Well, that's got to be aggravating if you was a tourist. Look at it. That'd be nice to be laying up against that, wouldn't it? They're moving along, but no targets. An apartment. That one looks like a Coast Guard station is the jet ski place. There are the jet skis. So I gotta go through this little lagoon to get there. Well, from what I can see at a distance, the scenery looks like standing. We'll get a better glimpse as we get in here. I might have to take a nitro pill. What? 
They may rent paddle boards too. There's a bunch of paddle boarders right out here in front. Bound towards home. I may swing by uh, the place where we were the other day, me and the Mumbles man and the Guru and give it a quick spin if I can get a parking spot. One o'clock in the afternoon is parking is tight. But if I get lucky and I find a spot, I may try it for about an hour. If not, I'm a D-O-N-E with all these bullets. You didn't see these bullets I dug. I got on a place full of bullets, casings, nine millimeters. Look like a, I don't know what it looked like. I know my arms give up. I left them. I got they were still there. All you want. But who wants to dig bullet casings and bullet heads? <laughs> I mean I dug plenty, don't get me wrong. But I was tired of digging bullets. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Well I'm going through for my second pass for a parking spot. First time it wasn't any spots. There's one right there. If I can get into it, they wasn't there just a second ago. Let me turn around here and uh, see if I can sneak into that baby. Stand by. Now that's a tight fit. <laughs> I got a lot of room up here, but I'm okay. I don't know how I made it. Onward we go. I don't know if we'll be able to work here very good or not, but we'll try it. Monster ways here. It'll be tough working here today, I can tell you. Let's see how it goes on the drop off here. Woo. Drop right down. Scope deep. First step. Monster ways here. It'll be tough working here today, I can tell you. Let's see how it goes on the drop off here. Drop right down. Scope deep. First step. Forty five. Jump back to the 38. I think we finally got one of them. If we did, I don't see it. I, oh, it's a 25 cent. I see it hiding under that rock there now. Twenty five cent. Something in the same hole. The second one's being very elusive. Half a buck, one hole. The 
I see nothing. Spark plug, we know that's what that is. See nothing in this duck head looking thing. I guess that's all it is. Nothing. Crap. Crapola. Okay. Well, there's the nut from the bay. Four pennies, three nickels. Four quarters, four dimes. I didn't count the bullets. Nine millimeter. It says nine millimeter Luger. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three heads. And they were still biting when I left. We got that bling earring. One piece of gray matter. That necklace that lady gave us. That thing will knock your eyes out. Look at that fancy piece of bling, baby. <laughs> okay. Hope to see you Friday. Stand by. Package, package. For my buddy Boyd. I like packages. Look what it is. A gray t shirt. Looks like a Confederate officer, CSA. You see it on the belt buckle? What? Where is the gold? <clears throat> I could say that too. Where is the gold? Damn, gold's hard to come by. For me. 2017. But I like the shirt. Thank you, Mr. Boyd.